That's the sound of Starship Flight number five taking off this morning as our cameras heard it from Isla Blanca Park on South Padre Island. SpaceX calls this Starship test flight a success. The Starship itself landing in the Indian Ocean as intended. But what made this launch like no other was what happened to the super heavy booster after takeoff. Let's take a look at some historic footage our crew captured today of the booster returning to the launch pad and what SpaceX is hoping will be revolutionary for spaceflight. That is the super heavy booster being caught in what the company calls the chopsticks back at the launch pad. Typically, booster engines will drop into the ocean after takeoff. SpaceX says that being able to return the booster could save the company a lot of money and give them a chance to provide a quick turnaround time. Our Jorge Vela was at the launch this morning and has this report. Isla Branca Park was packed with fans eager to see the Starship lift off. They were also eager to see the booster come back to the launch pad. This feat will now allow the agency to refurbish and use the booster for future launches. Some like the Seattle family arrive early to catch some fish and eat while waiting for the launch. We're going to fish for a while and then we're going to just go into a symbol camp. Others arrive early after a long day on the road. We spoke with Dominic Cardenas who came from New Mexico. He said he came down even without knowing if the FAA would approve the launch. I took a risk when I heard about it on Monday, and I'm like, boss, I need to put in my leave for these dates right now and get it approved. And then I think it was around uh, 12.45 I started uh, driving, and yeah, because I wanted to make it early here. Others came from Utah, Tamaulipas, San Antonio, and even New York. Donna and Tony Walker were visiting from Tennessee and they got emotional while watching history being made. I absolutely was uh, blown away. It was absolutely surreal to, to be a part of history going on. Even space fans from the Valley were in awe of what they witnessed. It gets your heart pumping, your adrenaline going. Uh, then when it detaches the different stages of it, just, I don't know. Like, it's just the feeling of it, it's crazy. Like, it's just so, you know, emotionally. Uh, powerful. One thing is clear, those in attendance strongly believe that reaching Mars is a real possibility. Probably yours, I don't know about mine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, being I mean, I think, uh, what did Elon say, 2028 or something? He was going to start launching. So, yeah, maybe my lifetime. I probably got four years in me. <laughs> As for Starship, it also successfully re-entered the Earth's atmosphere and landed smoothly in the Indian Ocean. Working for you, from Isla Branca, I'm Jorge Vela.